Hi everyone, it's June 23, 2018. I was just sent this link and because I did receive some comments underneath my Upper Peninsula flooding video, those who vacation there and those who live there, well, this video is not just for you, but I thought that I would bring your attention to all beaches remain closed. Test results of the beaches along Lake Superior, the beaches in selected inland areas of the western Upper Peninsula, show high levels of E. coli and or fecal coliform bacteria indicating contamination by human and or animal feces. It's summertime. And when it gets hot, you want to get into some cool water. Interesting that this is coming out now. This is what we have been seeing over and over and over again. All beaches in the western upper peninsula are closed for recreational use. Do not swim fish or use small watercraft such as canoe, kayak, or paddle boards where there is likelihood of water contact. Heavy rains, flooding, erosion, and sewer overflows have significantly compromised surface water quality to the point of not being safe. And the only way to learn if what they are saying is true is for every individual to test the water. Now it's 62 degrees. 62 degrees. It is June 23rd. I'm concerned about a subscriber friend who lives, and I don't know exactly where she lives, but she lives in Michigan, north, upper, I've emailed her twice to find out if she's okay. I have not heard from her, but the last time that we spoke, which was just sometime last week, she said that it was, and I'm not sure if I got the numbers exactly right, she said it was 63 degrees and they were forecasting for the next day, 92 or 93. A 30 degree difference in one day. That can only be brought about by man using the technology that they have to cause that kind of drastic increase. I will link below to everything. I wanted to, uh, I was trying to research local areas to, to get an assessment of all of the damage brought by these storms, not just in the Upper Peninsula, if you saw the videos of the roads, and I will link below to this map, which is a map of all of the road closures in the Upper Peninsula. And I'm, I am brought this up because somebody left me a comment underneath the Upper Peninsula flooding, and she said that she had vacationed there for 30 years. They were planning to uh, go very shortly to vacation. The most pristine area she said she's ever seen and she's been you know in many places around the world and now she doesn't know if she can get there because of all of these road closures so I don't know if this map will come in handy for you but there's a lot of them. Whoa! So this rain was really powerful huh? It just washed away or bubbled up, cracked, all of these roads. Yeah, just rain. Okay. What did I find? Well, I find in most articles, mainstream media articles, the bullshit reasons they give for why there was so much rain in such a short amount of time. But here, stalled cold front cranked the weekend's moist, unstable conditions into frequent showers and storms over three days. Really. And it's unbelievable. I actually came across an article that said the storms in Montana were due to Hurricane Bud. 
Okay. This is heartbreaking. Three tragic deaths. A 12-year-old boy died from injuries suffered when the basement of his home collapsed during flash flooding in um, Houghton, Houghton, oh God, I'm so bad with pronouncing names and then when I get someone teaching me and then I can't remember, yada, yada, yada. A 75-year-old man was found dead 60 feet from his pickup truck in a ditch where flood waters reached 6 to 8 feet on the driver's side of the vehicle. A man died when an oak tree blew over onto his camper. What else do we have? Oh, flooded Wisconsin lakes. So your Department of Natural Resources has put out warnings. It's the heavy rains in Wisconsin. Boaters, swimmers, be wary of all of the debris in the flooded lakes and rivers. Take safety measure, measures. Your roads washed away in Wisconsin as well. 363 million gallons of untreated wastewater, a mix of sewage and stormwater spilled into local rivers and Lake Michigan after heavy rains on June 18, 19. So we have rains that wash away roads or rains that literally make road surface look like it's been hit by a her, uh, an earthquake and we have our sewage plants unable to contain sewage so it just spills into lakes rivers and then you can't use them oh well, this is nice three dozen oil tankers spill in Iowa train derailment a freight train derailed in northwest Iowa on Friday, leaking crude oil from into flooded fields, flanking the tracks and raising concerns about the possible contamination of your water supply downstream. Well, what about your fields? Iowa, aren't you a big corn state? Storms bring high winds, rain to Oklahoma. Arkansas, people without power. A Chinook, new United States Army. And these kids are getting onto it. Why? Campers, bear, escape, Montana flood. As severe wind uh, weather hits United States, helicopters rescued people stranded by flooding in Texas and Montana. Texas, you had the remnants of Hurricane Bud. But the remnants moved all the way up to Montana. So 140 children and counselors had to be rescued by the United States Army. Really, getting everybody used to the military protecting them. Storms caused widespread flooding in Washington County, in Pennsylvania, and other areas in Pennsylvania. The storms were really, well, uh, kind of wild. And you read the mainstream media articles, and they talk about the wild weather. What, who was this kid? Ben Smith, 18. He was sucked into a drain pipe. A suburban Pittsburgh teen was sucked into a drainage pipe during a powerful storm that dumped nearly four inches of rain, and he survived it. Well, that is powerful rain. Showers soak much of U.S. Corn Belt. Much storms, or more storms, sorry, next week. Rain soaked portions of the United States Corn Belt this week, swamping fields in South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and more storms are coming early next week. So what do they say? Well, before this week's storm, the U.S. Department of Agriculture had rated 78% of the U.S. corn crop and 73% of the soybean crop in good to excellent condition as of June 17. It was among the strongest ratings in recent decades. Oh, but now some analysts are considering whether soil moisture is excessive in some areas. The market right now is trying to figure out 
if too much water is a good thing or not a good thing. Oh, we can't figure out anything anymore. Our experts, they just can't figure out anything anymore. Don't know. Is it a good thing? Bad thing? Who knows? Well, the really bad thing is whether our crops are in good to excellent condition. These are GMO crops that Americans, that's what you get now. You get toxic food, genetically modified food, soybean, corn, completely taken over by genetic, uh, genetic uh, modification. And all you have to do is do some research on these uh, GM foods and you will find out that they are causing an awful lot of medical problems not just for humans but genetically modified corn it's all fed to chickens and all all cows they come in down with conditions who cares slaughter them and put it on the market for Americans to eat and Long Island Storms could ruin Long Island's first summer weekend. Okay, I'm going to show you just some of the technology that man was using to create all of this havoc. And I want to tell you, the weather modification that is taking place, it's killing people and those who are involved with weather modification, they are murderers and they should be arrested and jailed. Here you had uh, extremely low frequencies being set off very close to the border of Canada, United States. These frequencies extend for 300 miles. So the frequencies being set off in Canada can affect the United States. And you can see the very defined lines. Okay, so here down in uh, you got Oklahoma and that's the tip of Texas and you can see all of the next red hawk rings coming from our Doppler radar sta uh, stations that are that are high frequency heating high frequency heating with the extremely low frequencies can bring about cyclones, can bring about heavy rains, can bring about massive flooding, can bring about roads crumbling, can bring earthquakes. You see how flatlined that the top of the storm is, signature frequency being used. Here we have North and South Dakota. We've got the next rad harp rings shooting off from other areas of Canada or extending into Canada. All of this generates weather for you. Why can't we get through to our fellow Americans? Well, they don't want to know the truth. Who cares about the truth? Accept the lies, live a lie. And while so many people get damaged by it, who cares? Even uh, the storms, which I looked at, very carefully last night, but I don't have the time to do all of the captures. We had a thunderstorm here in South Carolina. These are the clouds that I got some film of yesterday. The man-made clouds, artificial clouds, can be turned into thunder clouds. They can create thunderstorms and that's exactly what was happening here in South Carolina and in an awful lot of places around the country. This is life now. Mother Nature replaced by technology.